this is Mr. Buffington and we are doing some practice questions involving exponents today. So you can see the five questions on the board that we are going to review. There they are. We will talk about positive exponents today, negative exponents, and practice, practice, practice. So let's get to it. Our first question is a positive exponent question. 6 plus 4 to the power of 5. Now, with this, we have to do it in the correct order of operations. So what I would encourage you to do is to pause this recording, pause the video and try it out on your own using the proper order of operations, then come back and take a look at how I solve it. So we are back. The first step is to solve the exponent, which is 4 to the power of 5. When we're doing order of operations, you do parentheses, then exponents before we do, we'll take care of that addition. So the exponent is 4 to the power of 5. If you want to expand that out into 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4, that's fine. Um, but remember that that is an exponent, so it does need to get done first. So you can write parentheses around it or just finish it first or just solve it as an exponent. Either way, you're going to get 1,024. 6 plus 1,024 will give you 1,030. That's your final answer for this question with the positive exponent. Now we're going to work with two questions that have a negative 2 raised to the power of 4. One of them has parentheses and one of them does not. And I want you to watch carefully what happens, the difference between this question and the next one. So pause the recording, try that one out, see what you get, and then come back and we'll talk about it. Hey, welcome back. Did you get negative 1? Spoiler alert. All right, let's, let's take a look. This is 15 minus 2 to the power of 4. So we are going to do 2 to the power of 4 as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And solve that first, just like we did in the previous question. 2 to the power of 4 is 16. Now we're going to do the subtraction. 15 minus 16 gives us negative 1. I told you it was negative 1. In the next question here, we have negative 2 to the power of 4. The difference with this question is everything inside of the parentheses is raised to the power of 4. So when you solve this one, be sure to take that into consideration. Try it out, uh, solve it, and come back for the full solution. Are you back? Did you actually do the question? Did you pause it? Okay, awesome. Great. <laughs> I really can't read your mind. In case you, in case you thought I could. So let's go ahead and solve this. And again, I'm going to write this as an expanded question just to show you what we do. When you do have negative 2 inside the parentheses raised to the power of 4, it's negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. It's not negative 2 to the power of 4 or minus 2 to the power of 4 like we saw in the previous question. When you have that negative, anything inside of the parentheses, you have to raise that to the, the power that you're given. So in this case, I have negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, negative times negative times negative times negative. It ends up giving me a positive 16, which was, you might say, hey, that's the same as what we got last time. Um, and with negative numbers raised to a positive exponent, it won't change the answer, but it is good practice to, to write it out just to show the difference between whether um, that negative is included in the exponent. So I wanted to do practice with that. 9 times 16 is 144. Now we're going to switch gears a little bit and talk about negative exponents. Negative exponents basically take that number and everything that's included in it, everything that's raised to that power. So if there's parentheses, everything that's in that power gets switched whether it's in the denominator or numerator. So if it's like this, we would move it down to the denominator and then the exponent becomes positive. If it was in the denominator as a negative exponent, it would get moved to the numerator. So that's what a negative exponent does. It just moves the location of that number. And the base 
and the exponent move to wherever it's going. Numerator would move down to the denominator, as you see in this case, and we have a 1 as a place filler. If it was in the denominator, it would move up. Now we just do 7 to the power of 3, which is 7 times 7 times 7, and that gives you 343. And that's how we would solve that one. Now, our final question that we are going to look at today might look a little intimidating, so I want you to take a deep breath before we look at it. Let's get into this. This one here, not only is it intimidating because it's a bright green color, it also has a lot going on. So just like the previous question, we do have a negative exponent. We've also got some things that need to be simplified. So first off, I'm going to go inside the parentheses. That's what you do with, with order of operation questions. You simplify whatever's inside the parentheses. So in this case, I have a square root inside the parentheses, and I have multiplication. I have 4 times the square root of 9. Fortunately, uh, we are going to simplify the square root of 9 down to being 3, because we're just going to use the positive numbers for this. So it now becomes 4 times 3, which is 12. Okay, we have now simplified this expression. What was inside the parentheses, we've simplified it down as far as it can go. So now it comes time to figure out what is connected to the exponent. Because remember, that negative 2 exponent is going to put something into a denominator. And this is why everything that we've done up to this point kind of comes together at this point. The 12 is inside the parentheses. That is being raised to the power of negative 2. It is 6 times 12 to the power of negative 2. 12 to the power of negative 2 is its own entity. So that is going to go into the denominator. 12 to the power of negative 2 becomes 12 to the power of positive 2 when it's moved down to the denominator. The 6 remains up top by itself like that. So that is how this would look. All right, and now we just simplify um, 12 to the power of 2. That's 12 times 12. That gives me 144, and there is a common factor of 6 in this fraction, so I can simplify it down to 100, oh, 100, oh my goodness, learn to read, 1 over 24, or 1 24th. That is what this simplifies down to. So we have simplified the fraction to lowest terms in this way. We talked about positive exponents, we talked about negative exponents, we did some practice, practice, practice. I hope that that video was helpful for you. This was just sample questions using positive and negative exponents. Here's some other videos that I hope you will find helpful. If they are helpful for you, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.